Hey, what's up YouTube fans, so now there's V6, and uh, welcome back. So I know it's pretty laggy right now, and my uh, resolution is a bit weird. But uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, make this um, animated texture onto your model in uh, Mr. Crayfish's model creator. So if we load up the uh, model creator, we can see that uh, this texture back here is actually just bedrock. What, what you're seeing on the screen over there is just bedrock. So if I get some bedrock there you can see it's the uh, the animation so uh, one of the things that Mr. Crayfish's model creator won't let you do is you um, you can't import a texture that's more than 16 by 16 so uh, I found a workaround for this so what you want to do first is um, you want to right now I have um, let me just pull up my windows here all right, so right here, uh, you can see the we have a bedrock, the PNG right here, and that's all of my frames for each for the animation. And if you guys want to learn how to do that, I'll show in another video. But for right now, uh, just know that we need this and the MC meta file to uh, make an animated texture. So we put it, uh, drag it over here. So you're gonna want to put the bedrock in your. Um, let me just copy this actually, and then paste it in your resource pack. So Right now in your resource pack, you should have um, your bedrock texture as the regular old te bedrock texture. And so, and you don't want to go to faces, and you want to find the, I have, mine's a screen right now. So my screen has the necessary cropping for my um, uh, images, for my animated texture. So what you're going to do is click that image and we're going to import an image and I've already done this but I'll just show you guys real quick you don't want to go to your dot minecraft resource pack go to your resource pack um, they go to textures blocks and you're going to want to find the uh, the bedrock texture which is right here I want to open it um, it says that because um, I imported the other texture recently but anyways uh, it, this shouldn't pop up for you guys you should already have this texture and you're going to just click apply and it should be right on there and so what you're gonna do next is you're gonna save this file export as a JSON and export it to wherever you want and then so you're gonna drag um, your JSON texture into your model folder so let me just pull up my windows real quick so you're gonna go um, to your models go to assets minecraft models block and you're going to want a transparent block if you're doing uh, blocks that are like placing on their block or you want to see through or something um, you're going to want a transparent block like glass so I made mine's um, science stained glass so you're going to uh, if I go back in here you can see it's science stained glass so then you're going to drag the model into here your .json file into there go back in textures blocks and what you're going to do here is gonna delete the bedrock or whatever texture you're using and delete that. You're gonna move the the PNG with all your frames in it back over. So and with the MC meta file too. So what this does is that um, it allows uh, the model to um, use the texture of the actual bedrock, the the animated bedrock as the frame. So you don't have to import an animated texture in to Mr. Crayfish's model creator because the program can't actually do that. So you just, uh, just to summarize, you're going to want to get a regular texture block as uh, the background or whatever in the, your model for Mr. Crayfish's model creator. And then you're going to want to uh, delete, you're going to want to move the JSON into your model folder, delete the uh, texture of the regular bedrock, and move the animated texture in. And then you're gonna load your resource pack, and everything should be working just as normal. So, um, yeah, if you guys want a really more in-depth tutorial, I can do that. This was just a really quick thing because um, I I searched all around the net, but I couldn't find anything for Mr. Crayfish's small crater on having an animated texture. I know someone's done it out there, but um, most of the things they've done. Uh, on the internet are with um, Cubic Pro or other programs that actually lets you um, put textures that are more than 16 by 16 pixels so you don't have the problem of like oh man this image is too big 
So that's just uh, how I found out how to do it on Mr. Crayfish's small crater. If you f if you know anyone else who has this problem, um, be sure to uh, link them to this video. Show them it'll show them how to do it. And uh, yeah, so um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Tell me what you guys want to see next, and uh, I'll be sure to do it.